Hello, welcome to my report for June 2022 on the electrical systems at our property in Huntingdonshire in England. Here's a reminder of the major components which currently make up the system. More facts and figures about this system can be found in the description below the video. The first graph shows the electrical energy coming in each day from our two solar arrays and from the grid. The total solar production this month was 886 units, a daily average of 29.5 units. 38 grid units were imported in total, eight of which were at the more costly normal rate. The biggest daytime pull was on the 18th when the clouds were thicker than forecast and I hadn't boosted the power all overnight. So the battery ran out at around 11.30pm, an hour and a half before the start of our low rate. 56.8 units were exported to the grid and that was 6.1% of the total energy coming in and 6.4% of the solar energy produced. The solar contribution to the month's electricity input was just under 96%. This second graph shows the origin of the energy consumed by the property and the car. The figures behind this graph are mostly supplied by the Tesla app with the car's home charging figures coming from the My Energy app. 64.3% of the energy came directly from solar and a further 30.5% was solar coming to the property via the Powerwall, giving a total solar contribution to the energy used of 94.8%. About 122 of the solar units went into the car via the Zappi charger in a fairly low mileage month when the 228 miles driven were all powered from our solar panels. This graph shows the energy going into and coming out of the power wall each day, as reported by the Tesla app. 90% of the energy that went in during the month came back out, a fraction higher than previous months, but that was caused by the large pull from the power wall on the final day of the month. And this is the self-power graph, based on figures from the Tesla app, which reported that the proportion of self-power was 97%, with just a few power wall units originating from the grid. And this graph shows the Solar Southwest production over the years since 2012. This was the fourth best June out of the 11 years, with 521 units being produced by the array. June's arithmetic mean is now 489.9 units and the median is 492. The cumulative year to date graph shows that 2022 has moved up to third position out of the 11 years. This graph shows the daily output of the two solar arrays for the past 365 days. The 28 day moving average lines for both arrays are both a couple of units above where they were a year ago. Here is the distribution of the energy input for the past 365 days. And this shows the daily solar production for that same period. The final graph is the summary of our grid electricity usage since we moved here in the summer of 2011. The grey and red lines show the number of grid units used each month as measured on the left hand scale. The monthly electricity bill is shown by the yellow line on the right hand scale and the green line shows the monthly contribution to the feed-in tariff payments which we get for the old Southwest Array's production. £11.92 is the second lowest monthly bill we've ever had at this property, only beaten by a few pence in June 2020. That's it for this month. I'll leave you with the Tesla Apps Energy Graphs for each day of June and I hope to see you again in a month's time for the July report.